What's up, YouTube? For today's video, we have the Generation 8 theme teams. I'm so hyped about this. I've been looking forward all week to do these. If you're hyped, drop a like on the video. Now, tonight, we're going to be doing a final evolution team for Generation 8. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing three of the normals and three of the shinies. And obviously, all the sets are going to be different as usual in the uh, Pimp Night theme teams. If you are new to this, uh, make sure you check me out on Twitter, Patreon, and Twitch. That's where I do all my other stuff, uh, very important stuff there. And uh, let's get into it. So I've got two battles today. This one was against Mr. Mysterious. If you want to check me out on Discord, uh, that's where I do all my battles. And that's where I'm taking these battles as well at a random time every day. Okay, so we've got a, uh, some new assets in this video. I'll explain them while I go, and uh, hopefully you guys will like them. So we've got an uh, extended sort of gameplay here this time. We've got the layouts actually coming over the top this time. Something a little bit different. We thought it would actually give a little bit more... Um, you know, room for actual gameplay rather than being cramped in a smaller space. Now, I did actually think about doing the uh, cuts after every turn, but it's sort of like uh, it didn't really flow very well. And uh, plus, this way, it actually can tell you what I'm doing in between my turns and what I'm thinking. All right, so we've got a big colossal enemy at the moment, but it's not going to be very colossal after that uh, earthquake. It's giving us an early lead. Now, this is a uh, very physical Rillaboom here. We've got Solar Blade. Sunny Day, Earthquake, and Facade. So you can get that Sunny Day up, and then you can go for the big Solar Blade. Also, you got some Earthquakes uh, for any Fire-type Pokemon. And if you get Burn, you can go for Facade, and also, uh, you know, Sunny Day. Well, that sets the sun up. All right, so now we got a meta coming in here, which is the Corviknight. Now, Corviknight is going to cause me a lot of problems because, you know, Solar Blade's not very effective, Earthquake's not very effective, and Facade. So this thing is really going to be bad. So I'm looking through my team, and I'm thinking, okay, well, my other Rillaboom's not going to do too well. You know, should I swap into my Inteleon? Should I go into my Cinderace? I've got a couple of meme sets in this one, and I've got a couple of, uh, you know, a little bit more stronger sets too. Now, some of the uh, battles that I had, um, they, they, they were pretty one-sided, and then some of them that were like, were, like weren't one-sided. Like, I come across some Ubers and stuff. So I decided to go for the Sunny Day and said I didn't really want to swap anything into Corviknight. Um, I'm guessing, like, a Brave Bird was coming away or something along those lines. All right, so now we've got a Home Claws. So it's setting up Home Claws on my swap there. Now, I will say, um, I actually have uh, little friends popping up there sometimes. That won't be a thing in the next battle. I've turned off all my notifications. I didn't realize that would happen. Okay, uh, so uh, what should I do here? Should I, it's got a plus one. Now, what should I sack my Rillaboom? Uh, like, what should I do here? I decided to just go for Solar Blade to get some damage on it. If I went for Brave Bird, then it would get some recoil damage. And, you know, that would be better than nothing, right? So I'm uh, going for Solar Blade there. Solar Blade looks really cool. It sort of looks like it did in Gen 7, but, like, super, super, like, more HD. I'm really loving the... Uh, uh, crowds and everything like that. The crowds actually move and, uh, you know, the stadium's all changed. All right, so we got a uh, Brave Bird there, and, uh, man, my Rillaboom gets real erect, and that one is going to go down. Now, I've got a uh, strategy to take this uh, meta Pokemon out, and I think, okay, Cinderace is pretty good because, if you remember, I deliberately put the sun up, but not only did I put the sun up for the solar, but I actually put it up for my next incoming Pokemon. So now we're going to go into Cinderace. Now, let me bring up on my Switch what uh, set this actually was. Ah, this was the uh, probably the best set on my team. It was a little bit of a meme, but it actually worked really well. So I've got Counter Protect, Reversal, and Pyro Ball. Pyro Ball is a very, very strong attack. Max attack and max speed. So I was thinking, okay, let's go for counter here. What I want to do is I want to get myself on 1 HP. I, I'm not trying to plug my merch or anything. I actually want to get myself on 1 HP, but merch is in the description. So I've got a counter protect reversal, right? So what I want to do, right, is I want to go for counter. I want to get myself on 1 health. Counter will actually take out uh, the uh, you know opposing Pokemon as well. And then I'll be on 1 health and I'll be able to fire off those really powerful reversals. So reversal is also based on your health. So the lower the health, the more powerful it is, right? So we got the Corviknight going down there. A lot of people actually had Corviknight on their team too, which is, uh, you know, pretty interesting. Oh, uh, the question of the day, uh, what, you know, what uh, starter do you like the best or the final evolution after seeing all three evolutions? What one did you like the best and why? Any feedback on the video as well? If you're liking the new uh, little sort of like, it, it's a little bit more simple than the other layer, but it's a lot cleaner and a lot easier to see. So just give me some uh, feedback on there if you like it and stuff like that. Uh, very much appreciate that. I, you know, I always take you guys' um, you know thoughts into account there. And we've also got the uh, Fainted as well. I know you guys like clearly liked it to say Fainted as well, so we kept that and we sort of shrunk it down a little bit because it's out of the battle now. All right, so we've got the Scrafty getting Shrek by that uh, reversal there, which was really... Really, really good. Now, the thing about Pyro Ball, it does have a chance of missing. So, say if I was, uh, you know, if I was versing that Scrafty, right, went for the uh, Pyro Ball and a miss, then I could have easily gone down then. So, Reversal was really, really good. Um, I do have this... Um 
I do have this uh, thing about going for the, the counter, probably not straight away, but in that case, I did uh, go for it, because I wanted to get that reversal happening. All right, so we got the uh, hat, hat Hatterini, and now you guys are going to probably be roasting me for like the rest of the year for me, you know, pronouncing these names wrong, but uh, I'll do my very best. We got the Hattery coming in, and of course, we were talking about Pyroball missing, and I got wrecked by Magical Leaf, which was uh, a very magical experience. So down goes my uh, uh, Cinder, Cinder, I nearly called that Cinder Raw then. Cinderace, I, I had a mix, that was, that's a new Pokemon. That's Incineroar and Cinderace at the same, same time. Man, I'm making up new Gen 9 Pokemon already. It's only the first battle. All right, so now we're going to go into Inteleon. So this Inteleon, and out of, I must say, out of all the Pokemon uh, last final evolutions, this is the, my favorite shiny. Like, it, it, it's the coolest looking shiny out of all of them. I don't know, I don't know about uh, Cinderace. I'm sort of on the fence about that one, how it looks. What do you guys think? Do, which shiny do you like out of all three there as well? All right, so we're going to be running our physical set, going for that uh, banded... Uh, U-turn there. So this set I'll probably be able to explain in a little bit as we're going to go back into the other Cinderace we got. Now this Cinderace is a special one. I'm going to be running a uh, Focus Energy, Mud Shot, Overheat and Electro Ball set. So since it's a fairly fast Pokemon, I thought I could... Uh, you know, make use of that. All right, so Hatterini is going to give me a little kiss there, and it's going to heal a little bit of health off. This thing's actually very bulky on the special side, so I was thinking I need to get, like, a definite critical hit with this one. So after I use Focus Energy, right, and I've got the Scope Lens as the item, I'll be 100% critting every time, so I'll be able to bypass the, uh, you know, the special attack drops of the uh, Overheat. So uh, we're going to get a pump there, getting real pumped up, and uh, now Hatterini is going to go for the Psychic here on my Cinderace. That does a lot of damage. I'm actually able to live that one, which is really really, really good there. So now I can go for a Overheat or a Electro Ball. I've got to go for an Overheat because that's my most powerful attack. This thing has got like big, big, uh, you know, special defense too. Now, primary, this Pokemon is a physical attacker. I just wanted to make a special set. You know, you know how I am. If you are new to the channel, I do like to make different sort of sets. Um, you know, I, n I normally try to steer clear of mainstream sets and make up sort of like, like my own ones. All right, so we got the uh, Hatterini. Hats off to Hatterini. It's going to go down there and uh, we got a nice sizable lead at the, uh, you know, at at this point in time so the sunlight also actually helped then too like i had that boost from the crit i had the sun up at the same time too which is really really good so we've still got four pokemon um you know to, in my team and we've got two more pokemon to deal with so they're sort of like thinking what would be the best pokemon to come out against this and of course we got an inteleon so we've got some starter versus starter action here most people had starters in their team which you know which is understandable you know um they want to breed up their starter and stuff like that so i was thinking okay well the problem about this one is electro ball is going to be super effective but even though I'm faster, Inteleon is actually a fast Pokemon too. So even with the critical hit, it doesn't take it out because it's quite fast. If it was a slower Pokemon, I would have had like no worries at all. And uh, now Inteleon's going to go for the Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball looks really cool too. It's like it's slower, but it's uh, like super like more like HD. Okay, so my uh, second Cinderace is down. But I've still got my Inteleon left. And I've still got, I've got two Inteleons and a Rillaboom left. So things are still pretty good. So I've got two speedy Pokemon. And that Rillaboom, that other one, is like more of like a, like a super tank. We'll We'll get to that one in a second anyway. You guys got to see like what, what my moves are and this, this sort of thing too. Do you like being able to see like what my moves are in between the battles and like how I'm feeling? Like, I don't know. Like, just let me know. I can e I could easily cut out stuff in between, but I, I don't know. Like, it, it's really going to be up to what you people think. Like, I'll keep it like this if you think this is good. I'll keep it like this. Okay, so thinking here, what should I do? Let's go for a U-turn. I've got the choice bands. It should be enough to take it out. And uh, that was Karma, all right, taking my Pokemon out. Now, it doesn't have very good defenses, so I thought I'd make use of that too. I'm not going for like a... Um I could have gone for a liquidation, but if it lived for some bad reason, you know, that wouldn't have been good. So now we're going to go back into, well, we're going to go into Rillaboom, haven't been back into it. And uh, this big boy is, it looks pretty cool. It's shiny, sort of actually how I, uh, you know, how I thought it would be. Like a, you know, like a, like, what would you call that? Like a darky, sort of yellowy, like a greeny yellow kind of color. I don't know what you call that. Anyway, so now we got, um, oh, we got Toxtricity coming here. This Pokemon, I did a sweep of this Pokemon. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. And it's going to definitely be going for stuff like Boom Burst and things like that. It's, uh, it's a very, very decent Pokemon. Its speed, however, isn't the, you know, it's not that great shape. So I can go for a Bulldoze here. This is more of a support Rillaboom. Let me uh, tell you what this is. It's very, very tanky. 
We've got on this one, let me just bring it up on my Switch. We got a Drain Punch, a Drum Beating, U-Turn, and Bulldoze. So I've well, got two sort of like support moves there that still hit reasonably hard. So Bulldoze and Drum Beating, um, I can get like a speed drop of them. I also got U-Turn to get out of a battle if I need to. Um, that also works with the Inteleon with a little bit of scouting. And I've got Drain Punch as well for a little bit of sustain against some Steel types. Okay, so we got a, uh, the big uh, the big Tosh the he's, he's eating a couple of cans of Wheat Bix and he's going to be uh, growing really big. So now we got our, I think that's like, um, I think that's Venoshock, and after using uh, Max, Max Toxaboost, right, I think that's what it was called, um, it actually gets a special attack raise. It's going to take me a while to get all these names right, people, so just bear with me, uh, you know, for a couple of weeks and that sort of thing. Okay, so now we're going to go for another Bulldoze. It's super effective, but it isn't enough to take it out. The good thing is it's actually dropping its uh, speed, so it's not going to be very, very fast. Yeah, Max Ooze, my problem. Okay, uh, my bad. Uh, so we're going to go for uh, another, um, I actually went for another Bulldoze, but I didn't think I'd be able to live that one, and I don't. So down goes my my Rillaboom. Now, this thing has got two special attack boosts. The only good thing is I've got a Inteleon, well, uh, Inteleon times two to come in and take this thing out. So you may have noticed, right, you, you may have noticed, I had to bring one meme, people. I had to bring one real, like, salty meme. This one has got the move Metronome, so I was like, okay, I'm going to outspeed this. Can I take this out with a Metro? I've still got one Inteleon. Like, can we take this out with a Metro? It will be awesome. So we've got Snipeshot, Weather Ball, and Air Slash. Air Slash won't take it out. So I went for the Metro and hope for an attacking move just for fun. I was like, is this going to work? And I get Boom Burst. What were the chances of me getting a sound based move this Pokemon uses all the time? I can't believe that. And uh, my friends, that is the first battle. Hope you had fun. Uh, thank you for the battle, Mr. Mysterious. Um, I'd be solely too about me getting a uh, boom burst. That was crazy. All right, let's get into the second battle. This one was against uh, Inactive on my Discord. Once again, you guys know what our Discord is. Link is in the description. I need to get one of those, uh, you know, I need to change my card thingy too. I've still got that like basic sword and shield background. Um, I think you just pick them in the game. Okay, so firstly, we got a blue bird, which is Corviknight. So a lot of people like Corviknight. I see it like all the time in the battles that I've done online. Okay, uh, so anyway, we've got a Rillaboom lead here. I like to lead with my Rillaboom, like my sweeping one. But unfortunately, I had this same sort of matchup against Corvin. I was like, yeah, I can't do anything against this thing. Like, should I swap? Then I was thinking, maybe I should go into my Cinderace, like, straight away, activate my Focus Sash, and then I could go for, like, a full power reversal. Then I was thinking, maybe it won't actually take me down to my Sash. Um, it may sort of, like, put me in an odd health range. I was like, bugger, in the end, let's risk it. I can easily swap in and then go for a fire type move anyway, you know, if all stuff goes bad. So now we're going to go into the Cinderace here. I, th I, th I think I've explained all my Pokemon. Um, anyway, so we got a Home Claw. So they uh, wait for the Home Claws. It's like, okay, that's fine. I could uh, pretty much do a Pyro Ball here or go for a full counter to take out the Corporate. Sort of like Deja Vu at the moment. I actually need a drink. Mm. Okay, had a nice drink there. Um, that's a good thing. I can take a little, br I can take a, a tiny drink break when I'm actually uh, picking my moves or waiting for the opponent to actually make this. All right, so we got a Brave Bird here. Brave Bird looks really cool. It sort of stays true to its animation too, and it doesn't take me down to my sash. It was very, very close there. I'm going to go for the counter, kick that bird in the head, and that one is going to go down. I'm actually kicking. That would actually really hurt because that bird's made out of steel. Okay, so we got the early lead here, which is good. Uh, one of my Pokemon is down low health, but that doesn't really matter too much. Now the next Pokemon we're coming out is the Arcanine. So my extreme speed detectors were just, they were, they were going off. I was like, okay, I'm just going to see if they do have it. I do have Protect on the set because with a counter set or even a mirror coat set, you're always running around with Protect, right? Because you want to scout out the move. You don't want to like, and stuff like Fake Out, that's also really bad too. Um, those sort of moves. So you want to scout out the moves and make sure like, you got to make doubly sure, you know, that counter is going to work. Obviously in this case, I wouldn't use counter. I'm sort of just explaining like, if they say I had full health, right? And I was versing this Arcanine, that would just sort of like be the option to take there. Okay, so going for Protect here. Sorry, I had to sort of like explain myself there. Uh, go for Protect and the uh, Arcanine obviously is going to go go for the uh, Extreme Speed, which I thought it would. Like, it was sort of an obvious play there. But uh, they, they could have gone for a Flare Blitz on the swap, which would have been really bad. I probably would have gone into my... I could have gone into my Rillaboom here, um, expecting that. Like, the worst case scenario would be there is it loses a lot of health from Flare Blitz, which I'm, you know, assuming that it's got... So I can't do much here. It's, it's got the extreme speed. At, I'm actually sort of stuck because I've got a Rillaboom. My bulky one will take a lot of damage. I've got Cinderace. You know, um, I've got Inteleon. Like, but they're going to still, like, they're going to get hit really hard because that's not a bulky Pokemon. Um, either of them, I really don't want to, like, burn this off. Like, 
I was thinking, like, which Pokemon here is sort of like, you know, my disposable one. As you can see, too, it actually uh, reminds you after you've got, like, half a minute to go, it's only 30 seconds um, left and stuff like that. So it does give you a little reminder. Okay, so I finally decided to go into Cinderace there. It's going to go for the Crunch. Crunch doing a lot of damage, and then it drops my defense. It's like, ah, uh, that's not good, because the next one's probably going to take me out, and it's got a Life Orb at the same time. So there's, there's no way I'm going to be able to live the next one. So I thought, okay, I've just got to attack. Get some sort of like damage off of the thing, you know, off of this thing and take it out, right? Also, I do want to say, um, it was another thing I wanted to say. There's only 20 minute limit on these battles too. So if anyone's new and hasn't seen my channel before or hasn't seen these wiper battles, we only have 20 minutes to battle. And that's sort of, so that's not very long. Like when you think about it, literally 20 minutes. So any sort of stalling strategies, um, yeah, that, they, they spend up most of the battle. So you probably see less stall in my videos now. I'm actually going to go for less stalling sort of battles. Okay, so instead of going for a, uh, like a, like just a neutral move, it just went straight up for the Flare Blitz and uh, bodied my Cinderace. Cinderace's defenses aren't too hot either, so I pardon the pun, and uh, I'm going to go down there. So it takes a little bit of recoil damage, and it's got the Life Orb. So since this thing has both of them, it's not going to be around for too long. So I've got my Cinderace on 7 health, which I can't swap him. I've got my Inteleon. And I've got my other Inteleon. And I thought, okay, I can't swap in Rillaboom because it'll body it with a Flare Blitz. So even if I go into Inteleon here, right, they could go for the Extreme Speed. Sure, I'll lose a bit of damage, but I'll be able to take it out. Because this Pokemon is actually a pretty big threat to my team. Like, when I'm looking at like, both my Rillabooms are going to get wrecked by it. Even Cinderace is going to take a lot of damage. Just like, and it was not very effective. You guys got to see it then. Okay, so now we got it. I'm forcing it to go for Extreme Speed because Inteleon is a very fast Pokemon. And, you know, he only had, like, a weak move. It still does, like, half my health, though. All right, so going James Bond style on this uh, Arcanine, and that is going to go down. That's like a, what sort of base off, isn't it? Okay, so uh, we got the Arcanine out of the picture, finally. And uh, that, that took a bit of work to get that one out of the way. Okay, so I was thinking, what are they going to bring next in? Also, when you um see the teams at the start, you can, obviously you can still see your opponent's team and stuff like that, if you're wondering. I'm trying to think if there's anything else new. Not really. But the aesthetics are beautiful in Wi-Fi battles. Also, the stadiums do swap around all the time, so it's really, really cool. All right, so now we got our I cut veggies coming. Go, guys, when you cut veggies, you get a board. You go chop, 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 and choppity chop, and that's it. That, that's how you cut veggies. The Pit Mutt's cooking show, guys. Here you go. This is how you learn cooking. All right, so I can go for an air slash here. I could I could miss, though. That's the only problem I was sort of like thinking. Or I could get a flinch. So there's a good and there's a bad, right? So going for that flinch there. Man, those air slashes came out of my finger. I just did like... um. I just did like a, um, if you guys haven't watched the anime, uh, My Hero Academy, it's like that. It's like Meteora doing his, um, you know, little All Might thing with his finger. Anyway, so I live on poor health, right? Uh, this thing, uh, you know, d definitely doesn't have any sort of like, uh, priority other than like, uh, like a Shadow Snake or something like that. I was thinking a little bit, should, should I, should I swap out? You know, what should I do here? Should I go back in? Maybe go into Rillaboom and tank it if it does have it. Decide to stay in and go for another snipe shot and Gallade is gonna go down. So that's pretty good. Now I do have a Cinderace on only what, like a little bit of health and this is only on a little bit of health too. So even though I've got more Pokemon, that could change very, very fast if something comes along that's able to tank that moves and just, you know, take me out. It's not gonna take much. Okay, so we've got three Pokemon down, which is really good and we've only lost one. Now, the next Pokemon coming in, of course, of course, this Pokemon is on so many teams, uh, Toxtricity. So I can go for a Snipe Shot. I was like, well, Snipe Shot's going to do a lot of damage to this thing. This thing isn't really bulky at all. Maybe they've got an item to prevent it from, you know, getting KO'd. Anyway, so we're going for that Snipe Shot there. And this Snipe Shot, damn, it just bodies it in one shot. So that was really good. That was like just a, a, basically a free KO. Maybe they thought they'd live it like really, really bad. I thought it might live like you know, just on a little bit of health, um, maybe maybe one health or something like that. Now we got two more Pokemon coming out here, and the next one is, of course, an Inteleon. So Inteleon versus Inteleon. There's not much I can really do here. I was like, let's go for Metronome. Oh, I can't really do much here. And they went for a Sucker Punch. Metronome counters the Sucker Punch. Damn, guys, look at this. This is the, this is this is what you watch my channel for. And I get Stealth Rock too. Can you believe that? Like that was two out of two battles, right? The first one I got that um. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. Anyway, so we got the first battle going amazing with Metro and the second one. So I was thinking, okay, this time they're probably... Are they going to go for Sucker Punch again? Pretty me to go for a, you know, uh, you know, like a different move this time. Should I go for Metronome again? Like, what should I do? Decided here um, to go for the Metro. And now we got a... We got a... Um, I nearly called that a Digi Evolution. We got Cindy is going to get thick. Actually, wait, Cindy's not going to get thick. Cindy's actually going to get even, even thinner. Okay, so oh, it's got like those little wings where it gets like really big. All right, so we got the Dynamax uh, Cindy Heal or Dynamax 
Actually, I'm just going to call it Cindy. That's going to be easier. So Cindy's foot is about as big as my whole body. Uh, we're going to go for that metronome, and we're going to get Shadow Punch. Man, Shadow Punch. That's pretty cool. That move actually never misses. So it only does a little bit of damage. And then it's got Rocky Helmet. Why does that have Rocky Helmet for? Why does that have Rocky Helmet? Anyway, so it went for Max Darkness. Now, that's one turn left. So if you Dynamax in a battle right, um, you, uh, Gigamax whatever you only get three turns to use so you wait when you're big guys you got to make use of it no, yeah i'm telling you that from some personal experience anyway so we got the cinderace coming here um cinderace is quite a fast pokemon now i already know that it's got a rocky helmet so i'm gonna go rip so i thought if i go for a reversal here that should do some okay damage uh, to it i'm gonna go down a rocky helmet but it's all cool now, if this thing does have an ice type move, I could be in a little bit of trouble. But, you know, I've got to go for it. It's my, probably my most powerful move at the moment. Okay, so that's going to get hit by the Rocky Helmet, and Cinderace is going to go down. So we've got my Rillaboom left, and I've got... I've, I've still got a Lizard left, too. I'm going to say Lizard, too. Lizard's, like, so much easier than Inteleon. Okay, so thinking here, should I go into my bulky Rillaboom? You know, what should I do here? Like, I don't, I don't want to burn that up at the moment because that, that could be quite handy maybe after it's finished Dynamaxing. Like, at the moment, it's hitting pretty hard. So, this is, this is, this is what I was thinking. Okay, I was like, bugger it. Let's go into my own Rillaboom and uh, see what this is going to do. So, into Rillaboom. Now, Rillaboom, I, not Branch Poke. It's got uh, Drum Beating. I feel like Branch Poke should have, like, a secondary effect like flinching. Like... Picture this right. Say I've got a branch right. I'm gonna say, okay, let's, let's let's go from the beginning. Say I climb up a tree right. I grab a branch. I like you know I snap it in half and there's like a little knobby beard on it. And then I start poking. I, I I poke you with that branch right. That that should that should make you flinch. Anyway, so uh, it's gonna hit me with the um. I think that was Fluttershy, whatever, whatever the move's called. And that's going to drop my special attack. Not that it matters. And uh, we're going to go for the drum beating there. And Cindy is going to go down. Cindy's going to go on like a uh, very, very small after that one. So that was good. I had a really good counter there with my uh, bulky Rillaboom. That had a Salt Fest too, if you guys didn't actually notice that in my team. Okay, they've got one more Pokemon left. And this Pokemon wasn't very nice at all. This made me very, very salty. And, you know, I, I was playing Gen 7. The last time I played Gen 7, I was like... I won't have to see this Pokemon for a long time, you know, Cincina. And here we go, people. The first battle I do, or first couple of battles I do, we've got the Cincina. And you already know what set it's going to run. It's going to run that scummy King's Rock crap. All right, okay. So we've got the big Gorilla Boom here. It's going to go for a Rock Blast. Like, maybe they expected me to swap. I'm not really sure. Anyway, uh, or they didn't want to, like, miss or something like that. Then again, all of these moves can miss. So I'm going to get hit by five times in a row by the Rock Blast there. And yes, you, you guessed I'm going to flinch the first time. Okay. I've got uh, Bulldoze, U-Turn, and Drum Beating. I wanted to go for the Bulldoze and drop this thing's speed, right? It's a very fast Pokemon. The last couple of Pokemon probably aren't the fastest either. Okay, so uh, since then, it's doing its best to annoy me. It's going to be four rocks, and the fifth rock actually takes my Rillaboom out, unfortunately. So down goes Rillaboom. Now, I can go I've can. i got my Rillaboom left, and I've got one um, Inteleon left, too. So I wasn't sure if Intellion could actually take uh, Cincino out one shot. I knew that it had a good chance. Obviously, I knew that it would be able to outspeed it. I've got in this one Felsinger, Liquidation, Icicles, Fear, and U-Turn. So I thought, if I go for the... I could go for Liquidation um, here and uh, maybe uh, take it out. I, I, I was thinking it's only going to like probably live on a little bit of health. It is a normal type Pokemon, so the health isn't all that bad. Uh, but I thought, that, that's going to be really good, because I can do that, and then maybe I can send in my Rillaboom out to tank the attacks really, really well. So go for that liquidation on the Cincinnor, regardless. Hopefully I can one-shot it, does some big damage, but it unfortunately is. And of course, now it's going to go for Bullet Seed. Bullet Seed is going to be hit five times due to the Skill Link ability. Skill Link always makes those uh, in multi-hitting moves hit five times. I um, actually really like Bullet Seed, looks really cool, the animation on So we got a, uh, that's a fourth Bullet Seed from the Cincinnor, and down goes my Inteleon. And Talion not feeling too good after that one. It's got a mouthful of bullets. Okay, the last Pokemon I've got now. I've got 60 seconds to move. Uh, we're going to go into Rillaboom. This is my uh, physical one. So it wasn't like my bulky, bulky one, but it still was like reasonably bulky. And this one was... No, this was my max attack and max speed one. So you may have noticed I have not Dynamaxed this battle. What a perfect time to Dynamax. That'll get make like really, really bulky in health. And then I can just go for a max overgrowth and take this little thing out, hopefully. So that was like my game plan here. I knew that I could definitely tank a couple of attacks. Even if it hit me like five times in a row, I get flinched a couple of times. I was pretty confident I could get, um, you know, one... I only needed like one attack against this thing. The only problem was if it did flinch me every single time. Like, I feel like... Maybe 15 to 20 hits could actually take me out. But I'd need to get, like, flinched, like, almost every single turn for that to happen. Okay, so now we got a Rock Blast there. And it doesn't really do too much damage at all. Tail, tail Slap would have done, like, a little bit more damage, but not too much. 
So, um, I guess it really doesn't matter unless I flinch. That's like the... That's the main thing. Is this thing flinches you, you're sort of like gone. So, that's going to be the fourth hit, and that's the fifth hit. I just noticed Rillaboom gets hit in the face there. Anyway, I do not get flinched there, and Max Othergrove is going to take out Cinceno finally. And that, my friends, is the second battle. Hope you enjoyed this. It was a really fun... Uh, it's sort of like a fun experience doing Gen 8 for the first time doing my theme teams. If you enjoyed it, guys, make sure you hit a like uh, button and uh, leave, make sure you uh, leave a suggestion on what team you like to see. All right, people. Peace out.